All right, Mike, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, the project today? Okay, here we are in Oak Brook this morning. Um, we've got probably a 1,000 to 1,300 square foot basement that uh, got moldy about um, three feet up the walls. Result, a uh, combination result of a uh, basement flood um, after a rain, as well as the fact that the basement is right off of the swimming pool, the indoor swimming pool. So there's a lot of humidity down there. So um, we have gassed the basement. In fact, we gassed the entire house just to protect against any mold spores that may have traveled through the ventilation system around the house. So we, we did our signature service, high concentration ozone shock to the entire house, killed all the mold, the basement, living room, bedrooms, everywhere. And then we backed that up with the antimicrobial fog, um, biostatic surface protectant to all surfaces in the home as a mold inhibitor to prevent against new mold from taking root. How does that work exactly? What it does, it, it when it dries, it locks into the surface and um, it locks into the surface and it's like a nanotechnology of microscopic razor sharp spikes. So when it's dry, it's fixed, it's locked in, any new mold or bacteria lands on it, it slices right at the cell wall and kills it. So new mold, new bacteria will not uh, have a chance to take root and uh, get out of control again. Okay, and so for today, what do we have going on for today? today? We're, we're, we've been drying the house out now. Uh, we shocked it first, uh, more or less out of convenience of the occupants, and uh, we're gonna we're drying it out now. We've had dehumidifiers and fans running in the basement for a period of uh, approximately four days now, and um, now we're gonna get to cleaning the walls, mild soap and water, no bleach, no chemicals. It's dead. It's dirt. We're just gonna clean the walls, get the basement prepped for uh, painting. Uh, we've had to put some holes in the stud spaces uh, so that the ozone and the air to dry it out will get and infiltrate the walls uh, to catch any mold or moisture that's behind the walls. So we're going to have to patch some holes, uh, clean all the mold off, and we're going to be ready for painting hopefully by Friday on this in two days. There you go. Sounds good.